the crabs weak to the moonlight, guys. What's going on, everybody? Gangster Days here. We're back again with another video. And as you can see, if you ever had problems with a crab, the moonlight makes short work of them, man. About three, four hits, they're dead. So today we're going to be running into the arena with the moonlight greatsword. This thing is pretty amazing, so... We'll be going over uh, the qualities of it. So it has one certain quality I mentioned in my last video, guys, and that is its uh, shield-piercing ability. So the Moonlight Greatsword, man, goes through any shield and provides you with damage still. Um, it's pretty great. The Moonlight Beam and the sword itself both do the same thing. Now, this thing's hitting for pretty high damage. I am at level 120 right here, guys. Um, we have our Intelligence to 45. It's our, our attack rating, I believe, is like a 561, but we're hitting for around 520. Something like that. Double handed, man, this thing puts out some pretty good damage, too. Um, another thing I like about the Moonlight Greatsword is its uh, reach is very deceptive. Um, it's a lot longer than it looks. I mean, you see right here, uh, you get a lot of um, options, too, when you're fighting, like, you know, a Fume Sword, something like this. So you have a, when you have a slow weapon, what I'm basically doing to this guy right here is I'm waiting. I'm trying to time it perfectly to when I see his animation start. And as soon as I see that start, I'm going to, you know, unleash that Moonlight Blast. Hit him with, look at that, 578 damage from that Moonlight Blast, man. That thing is crazy strong. So I'm going to be starting a new game uh, with this character, guys. I'm going to be doing so, so I can get a few more items. I'm going to grab a few more sorceries for this build as well. Like I said, I want to go get uh, Crystal Soul Spear. Um, I neglected or black the Sorcerer. So he had left my Fire Link Shrine. Because you guys know if you don't give him scrolls, he will leave you. And he will say nothing when he leaves. That's going to finish this guy right here. Good game, man. Fume Sword down. You got to be real careful against that Fume Sword. You know, two hits could end your life. Especially if you have anything less than a full health bar. So right here we're fighting at the Meta Level 120. Using all this Moonlight Power. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the day, man. Uh, there was supposed to be a quote-unquote nor'easter coming through the northeast um, of the U.S. That's where I live. And it's just been raining outside all fucking day. But two hours away from here, up north, they got creamed with snow. Um, it makes me kind of mad. I know you guys, if you've been watching my videos, you guys know I want a goddamn snowstorm. It's, uh, you know, almost January and it's raining outside 40 degrees. It's crazy. Um, you know, I grew up with the four seasons, dude. It's... No longer four seasons where I am. It sucks. Hopefully we get, you know, some sort of storms afterwards. I don't know. So this guy, was he using? He could be using the, was that, Profane Greatsword, I think? That thing hits very hard. You gotta be careful with that, man. Especially if, you're, uh, if your stats are right for that weapon. Holy shit. It just touches your skin and you die. Very strong weapon. Very strong indeed. Oh. Thought we got him with that one. That Moonlight Power. God damn, so I'm trying to get used to uh, using this um, new microphone I got, guys. It is a blue snowball. Um, I, you know, used to do my videos using a headset recording that way, so... It's kind of weird now just have it, you know, in front of you, just being able to talk and having it record you. I said, I'm still trying to get the best possible, uh, possible situations for the microphone, like how far away I'm supposed to be, things like that. I'm learning as I go, so just bear with me. I think the... Um, Oh, shit. I was going to say, I think the witch tree uh, staff, the staff I have looks pretty sweet. Oh, god damn it. We lost. We got the loss. That was a draw, but he got Grace Combat. They gave the match to him. So what do we got here? Got a follower saber? Looks like, is that crystal magic weapon? You don't ever really see that too much anymore in the arena. That crystal magic weapon power, man. That is a very underrated buff, though. Crystal magic weapon, dude, hits like a train. Oh, see, I want to I wanna do a test and see, you know what, that's a good idea for a video, to see uh, which Moonlight attack outputs the most damage. I'm assuming it's going to be that double-handed L2 thrust poke. If you're able to hit them with that, I bet you that does the most damage, but I'd say it's either that or maybe they all do the same, but maybe not. And then you have the double-handed R2, which is a horizontal uh, Moonlight Wave Blast. Oh shit, he's running in circles. That meta, that meta tactic, man. All those fails is run in circles. So I'd like to with the Moonlight Greatsword. If you uh, go one-handed, it's it's risky business for a parryable, but 
You go one-handed, you get the horizontal attack. So you can do R1, R1, and then uh, R2, and it does like a left-right overhead smash. But the thing is with that combo, is that overhead smash that comes after left and right, dude, it has pretty great reach on it. And most of the time, your opponent's going to think he's far enough away when he's really not. That's the new meta, guys. Point up. Don't point down. Point up. It's so offensive. It's so offensive, they don't even know they're being offended. Looks like we have a guy using... What is that, the pike? You don't see that too much. Spears are not commonplace in the Dark Souls arena. I did get, uh... Gunder's Halberd. You've seen a lot... Of, I've been seeing a lot of glaives lately. I mean, I know it's called Gunder's Halberd, but it's considered a... Really considered a glaive, you can see what the weapon actually looks like. I got, uh... When... What's that? The weapon arted, uh... To death by that earlier. I was fighting, and, um... That thing fucking hurts, dude. Sometimes it's... You can just get caught up by Gunder's Halberd's, uh... Weapon art just so easily. Here we go! Good game, man. Pike's going down. Point up. Point up to the heavens! Jesus. So, the Moonlight Great Sword is amazing, as you guys can see. It really is. It hits like a truck, especially if you're uh, static correctly for it, man. You have your, If it's intelligence build, this is the weapon for you. You know, the strength requirement, I believe, is only 16 too, so that's nothing, dude. You can drop points into that and still be a fucking sorcerer all day. Alright, we got a bomb tosser here. Dropping bombs since 1986. Oh, shit. We have Valor Heart. The Valor Heart. I think with this character, maybe we'll plus 10 the Valor Heart and uh, do some fighting with that. I've yet to get into the Valor Heart. That was like one of the only, uh, that and the Rose of Ariandel were the two DLC weapons I really didn't use. But we pretty much used everything else. The Crow Towns, the Bleed Build, things like that. I'm going to respect this character, guys. The next build I'm going to do... Um, when we're done with the Moonlight uh, Sorcerer is going to be a bleed build. So, I watched a video that was talking about, you know, dumping points into uh, luck 40 for the soft cap and then have your Halloween at 99. It's it, it's a two hit difference for your, for your bleed effect. Um, now, it's on YouTube. I don't know if you guys have seen it. If you haven't, go search it. But it basically shows, you know, like... You know, the, the advantages you're getting from going 40 soft cack luck compared to those points you can put into other places and still use Carthus Rouge for bleed. And by the way, Carthus Rouge is way more effective than uh, the Blood Gem Infusion. Um, as long as you're using a, a weapon that has bleed inherent to it and you're putting Carthus Rouge on, that's a bleed build right there. Boom. I mean, you might as well go dex and strength. Whatever you need to scale with that weapon as well to get your damage higher, man, because... As I just said, that video pretty much proved that dumping points into luck is very minimal fucking results at best. So if you're trying to do a bleed build. But you know what? I'm thinking about still doing it. I'm thinking I'm still going to put the 40 points into the luck just to do it for one of the respects. Because, you know, we can respect four more times on this uh, playthrough. So we're going to do the respects before... Um, I start my new game, obviously, because you're only allowed, what, five every new game you play. But that gives us ample uh, opportunities to do different builds. And like I said, they're all going to be at the meta 120, so nobody gets offended if I go too high. Oh my god, man. Holy shit. The hate you get if, uh, you know, you have a high-level character in Dark Souls is, is fucking crazy. People just will say the rudest shit to you. Oh my god, you're over the meta. You're a fucking Grubby scum lord motherfucker, man. Go kill yourself. What? It's crazy, though. Hi, baby boy. People get so fucking mad over it. Um, like I said, man, for me, fights fights are harder at higher levels. Um, the fights are way faster at these lower levels at the meta level. Just people die in, like, freaking, what, four hits? If that three hits, you have something really hard hitting. Opposed to, you know, you have a little more health up higher, then you have a little more variety, too, with, like, the people you're fighting and the, sh and the things they can use, you know, like, I understand builds are fun to do, builds are great, you know, you only have so many points, you gotta figure out how to put it in to focus your, you know, almost be a specialist. Dark Souls, we're all specialists, you know what I'm saying, unless you're, well, quality is pretty much specialist, too, but you get into the higher level builds, you're able to, uh, expand your, your everything, basically, but you know what? You can't use- I was- my other character was level 190, guys, and I was still unable to use everything in the game. Now everybody's like, oh my god, at this high, you could just use everything. That's not true at all. Um, there was a sh there was a lot of spells I couldn't use, there was a lot of weapons I couldn't use, like, it just wasn't- You know, I couldn't use everything in the game, I still had to 
pick and choose what I wanted to be able to do. Um, obviously, not so much to the extent of a metal level 120 character, but still, it's not like I can just all fucking. Ooh, ah, 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 ah. I can use everything! Good game, man. You fell victim to the moonlight! But I like them both, man. Meta fighting's great. It's all great. It's Dark Souls. I'm getting excited for the uh, second DLC coming up, guys. Definitely gonna be covering that. Um, so, you know, if you're a subscriber with me here, definitely we'll have a playthrough on the DLC when it drops. I think it's supposed to come out in January, right? So it should be coming out soon. Also, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be getting more than just this one arena for the new uh, DLC when it comes out. Which is going to be fantastic, because as you can see, when you go into the Dead Arena, it has kind of an option to uh, pick where you want to go fight. Right now, we only have the one option, but her I, I've read online that we're getting two more. Don't quote me. Quote the Google. Alright, so we got the Fume Sword Warrior here again. Oh, shit. Why didn't he go? If he would have went for that second R1, that would have been uh, big damage. Don't mock my kicks, man. I didn't mean to try to kick you. Holy shit. So if you're new here, welcome to Case for Days. I usually do a daily Dark Souls 3 upload. Um, lately I've been also playing some Dead Rising 4, but it doesn't mean I'm going to stop playing this. So if you like Dark Souls 3, definitely hit subscribe. Um, like I said, we're going to be looking forward to at least five builds coming up at the 120 med level uh, for the build respects. So if you're curious to see what those are going to be, definitely stick around. Returning subs, how you doing? Hopefully you enjoyed your day. That's the Fume Sword down for the second time tonight. Da, 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 da. Games of Days is the winner. Goddamn right. What do we got here? Oh shit, a washing pole. I fucking hate fighting the washing pole, man. Probably my least favorite weapon in the fight. One of them in the whole game. It depends on how they fight with it, too. If they do the run poke, run poke, it fucking makes me want to. Makes me want to scream. Oh shit, we just. Big damage. Look at that, 1131. Uh, we're going to be making this the last fight of the night, guys. Uh, if you like the Moonlight Power, definitely drop a thumbs up down below. Like I said, once we finish uh, going through the motions with this build, we're going to respec and make some more. So, if you guys are excited for that, definitely hit subscribe if you're new. Return subs. Definitely look forward to it. Turn on that notification bell, man. Um, I'm not going to beg for likes like everybody else. I have those fucking crazy videos. People are like, smash that like button. Fuck that shit. If you like the video... Hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, that's fine. If you're neutral, that's good. Walk away. Good game, man. All right. This has been Games for Days, guys. You enjoy the night. We'll see you on the next one. Whatever that may be. Peace.